Good morning. Welcome to Undisputed. I'm Jenny Taft with Skip Bayless and uh, Shannon Sharp, <laughs> who has been waiting far too long for this moment. Thank you for wearing that mask. Uh, guys, basketball's back. How are we doing? How you doing, Skip? I mean, you know, I got my mask on, Skip. You know, I got a mask on top of my mask. The you know what? <laughs> this this calls for my mask. No! Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> How about this? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, hear me out. Hear, just yeah. hear me out for just a second. Mm. They say goats are hard headed. Yep. They're stubborn. Yeah. But look at me. I, got I, my I, mask I can't on. See you. <laughs> Skip. I'm sorry. <laughs> so. Just for the record, what the record, I would like to remind everyone that at the end of yesterday's show, I predicted that the Lakers would win by two. I predicted 102 to 100. The final score was 103 to 101. So I think I just about nailed that. You did. And my man, Shannon Sharp, yeah. or as I call him, Les Shannon Sharp, <laughs> he gave me the Clippers plus four and a half for yet another yeah. case yeah. of Diet Mountain Dew. I did. And once again, I prevail. I don't know how many I'm up, 40 some cases. Diet Mountain Dew, the breakfast of champions, the nectar of the gods. I see, you know what, Skip? I know what you're trying to do. You I'm try, not you trying know, to do anything. You're trying to quash, oh, quash my celebration. I think I just did. No, you, no, you didn't. Go, yeah. Jenny. <laughs> I can't even tell what is over there, Shannon. I don't even know what's on the desk. A lot happening. You've been waiting I'm sorry, I'm for this. I got all show. Go ahead. I'm going to give it. Skip some credit. You did. You were very, very Thank close you. on that prediction. So I am going to go there. I don't know if this is going to be an easy day for you. But let's talk about what we saw last night. The Lakers and Clippers did not disappoint in the NBA's return. Each team led by double figures at one point and it included a 26 to 5 run by the Clippers and a 36 to 14 run by the Lakers. The game still came down to the wire as LeBron put back his own miss to go up to with 12 seconds left and on the final play LeBron ended up guarding both Kawhi and Paul George who missed the potential game winner. Shannon you have been waiting a long time for this what happened last night. Oh uh, mm -hmm. what happened? Now, be objective. <laughs> I mean, objective. Lay it on the middle of the table. I want to hear what you really thought. Well, Skip, it was great. First of all, it was great to have the NBA back. I'll I think we've been yearning that. for this for almost five months. And to finally have NBA action, live action, not, not rebroadcast of things mm -hmm. that happened 10, 15, 20 nope. years ago. This was live action. And it was bo both games were highly contested. We'll talk about the other one a little later. As Jenny mentioned, it was a game of runs. Neither team really shot the ball well. I thought the Lakers got out to the lead early because the Clippers put them on the foul line mm -hmm. in the first quarter. The Lakers returned the favor for them and allowed them to get back in the ball game in the second quarter. Mm -hmm. And really, with the exception of Paul George, no one really shot the ball well. But I thought every, I thought both teams were sloppy. You can tell the layoff skip. They were really loose with the basketball. But at the end of the day, yep. <laughs> in the beginning of the morning, mm. I told you the one guy that nobody has an answer for is six foot ten and a half from the south side of Chicago. Mm. And boy, was he impressive. Oh, Joe Kim Noah, he got shoulders. He looked good. Mm -hmm. Can we get into players like that? Can we, can mm. we get into players like that all the time? Mm. Zubats, mm. no answer. Mm. You got no answer for him. And even when my guy, Goat James, had an off night, you still couldn't beat us. Mm. Skill Bayless, look. Anthony Davis put us on his back in the third quarter and says, nah, Clippers. I'm not going to let you run and hide. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to, oh, oh, Kawhi was feeling good about himself. He ought to, you know, he stripped the ball from LeBron James, mm -hmm. and he normally never says anything, but he's mumbling, mm -hmm. all ball, mm -hmm. all ball. Mm -hmm. Okay, LeBron, mm -hmm. okay, I got yep. something for you. But I want you to keep that keep that same energy, Kawhi. Mm -hmm. Keep that same energy late in the ball game. Mm -hmm. But, Skip, I, I, I thought the last, I said, man, Lakers about to run away with this thing. Mm -hmm. And then the next thing you know, burr, burr, foul, foul, get on the line. Mm -hmm. See, even though the Clippers weren't shooting the ball well, Skip, when you foul a team, mm. even though they're not shooting well, you put them on the line. You mm. give them an opportunity to get points with no time running off the clock. Mm. So that allowed them to get back into the ball game. And then when you thought the Clippers was about to pull away in the third quarter, mm. that's when Anthony Davis says, you know what? This is why you trade three players. Mm -hmm. This is why you give up three first-round draft picks. Skip, no disrespect to any of the players that they traded. B.I., I believe, will be most improved player of the year. But B.I.'s come out, Lonzo Balls, they come out every year. Them Anthony Davis, that's a 5, 10, 15-year guy. Mm. They don't come out in the draft every year. 
and the Lakers were willing to mortgage their franchise mm -hmm. to get that guy. But let me tell you about a guy. Now, somebody's been telling me for the last two and a half, three years, he's in year 17. He's played the fourth most minutes. Look at that gray in his beard. But I want you to watch a couple of plays last night. Mm. In year 17, mm. 35 years of age, with mm. the fourth most minutes on those legs that we've ever seen. Third, third most. Third most? Yeah. Oh, he, oh, he gave yeah. something last yeah. night. Take it I'll, away. Take a look at this. Mm -hmm. Like, people, I want you to watch this. Mm. Look at the goat. You see, Skip, normally because Kawhi is strong, any other three that he bumps like that, mm. he knocks them off balance. Mm -hmm. LeBron says, I'm still here in your back pocket. Mm. I got him locked up. Mm. Won't let him out. Mm. Oh, ooh, look at Kawhi. And he cried. Mm. Look at the official. What about the foul? Uh, uh, Morris. I think that's Marcus. You want some of this too? Mm -hmm. Nothing. Mm. Got him locked. Put him in solitary. Yep. Ooh. But this was the one. This was the one, Skip Bayless. Mm. Uh-uh. Hold on. Paul George, where you going? Where you going? Mm. I want to know why the reigning finals MVP, the guy that Skip Baylor said is the best player in the game mm -hmm. because Kevin Durant, the, be the really best player, is not playing. I want to know why he passed that ball. Mm. Four years ago, you killed Paul George mm -hmm. for passing the ball to C.J. Miles in a playoff game. You killed it. Mm -hmm. He passed it up. I just want to know why because mm -hmm. every time LeBron James does that, LeBron, uh, Michael Jordan would have never done that. He would have just elevated. Mm -hmm. You remember that shot on Byron Russell? You mm -hmm. remember it. Mm -hmm. You remember the shot on Craig Elo? Yep. So I just want to know mm -hmm. why. If Kawhi Leonard is the closest thing we've seen to Michael Jordan mm -hmm. as far as the mid-range game, yep. I want to know why he didn't rise up, mm -hmm. elevate over LeBron James, mm -hmm. and hit that shot. Mm -hmm. It's a good question. Would you like my answer? I want it. Is it my turn, I, finally? Your, because your, I have a whole lot ahead. to say about every point you just <laughs> raised. Go ahead. And here I go. First of all, can we step back and, and pay tribute to just how lucky LeBron James <laughs> was last night? Double lucky because lucky. he did get his partner in crime to play last night when we thought two days ago Anthony Davis with a scratched eyeball would not play. Mm -hmm. He played and didn't even need protective eyewear, which could have bothered him from the field and from the free throw line, but he did not need it. Nope. So he was full speed, full strength, 100% AD, yep. right? Yep. And what did he get to do at the free throw line? He got there 17 times. He made 16 free throws because he is the best free throw shooter on the Lakers. He is far better than number 23, who's still shooting right around 70%. He was 100% last night. AD is 85% for the year, and boy, he was 16 of 17 last <laughs> Last night, that will work, and that became the difference in this game. And to your point, AD was able to take the game back over after the Clippers came out of halftime. I came out of the locker room. 14 to 1, they threw at them. Paul George hit a couple of threes. Kawhi hit a three. Kaboom! That, that old lucky three. Timeout. There was one lucky three to get it started, yeah. but then there was one pure three that ended it. Timeout, 14 to 1 run. You're down 11 points and you look to be in trouble. And Anthony Davis said, not in my house, nope. because that was their house. That was a Laker home game last night. But what would have happened mid third quarter if the Clippers had been at full strength, Mr. Sharp? Who would have been in the game about that time? Uh, would it have been Lou Wings? I, I mean, Lou Will? Oh, I mean, Lou oh, Magic City? Oh, Lemon Pepper Lou. Yeah, Lemon Pepper Lou. He would have gone to Magic City in the middle of the third quarter, right all on your heads. And all of a sudden, Montrez would have come in off the bench. And the most dynamic bench doer, duo in all of basketball would have done a number on you and closed or slammed that door. You believe it? There's no way you would have come from 11 down with those two coming off the bench. Oh, did y'all have them last time we played y'all? Yeah, but you you had Avery Bradley who made six oh, threes. Oh, oh, so now we, so not, okay, okay. Okay, and by the way, that AD that you are raving about, there's only one of those guys. One. He is not built for the fourth quarter because are you looking at his fourth quarter numbers last night? Uh, wait a second. Oh, did he play in the fourth quarter? Yeah, yeah he did play in the fourth quarter. 
He takes one shot one. in the fourth quarter and missed it. That's okay. He made his two free throws. Yeah, uh, talk uh, about predictably. that. Okay, so he totals two points. That's enough. Which brings me to your man, LeBron James. Oh, God. Who for the first three quarters played like he should have kept the gray in his beard. <laughs> he played like an old man <laughs> over the hill. He stunk it up for three quarters. What were his numbers, Mr. Sharp? I'm sure you got it before you. It was good. He was three for 12 through three quarters. Yeah. He had five turnovers. He had nine total points. What are you always throwing at me? He's 27, 8, and 8. Yeah. Well, he sure didn't look like he was on that kind of pace after three quarters, did he now? No, no, he didn't. No, and he LeBron, didn't. I don't know if he sent somebody to the locker room because he didn't go to the locker room, but he changed his shoes. Yeah, he did. He went to those new 17s with that unveiled color, the one that looks like Miami Vice. I think Vice's it might be the, the 18s. I think he went are to the 18s. Are yeah, they 18s? Yeah, I think okay. he went to the 18s. Well, I, I thought it was the, 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 uh, the new 17s or 18s mm -hmm. that he started in, but he started in the 17. Yeah, that's what I thought. Mm -hmm. But okay, so these are the 18s. I don't follow those because nobody should ever wear those. No, 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 it's, it's like blasphemy to put those on your feet. No, it's not. He should have put some classic vintage Jordans on, no. and maybe he would have really taken this game over. He did in the fourth. So what happened? He did play very well. I'm going to give you that in the fourth because he finally made a three. What? And, and for Pure. once, he finally did something that he should do every time down the floor. He actually drove the ball on, of all people, Jamichael Green. <laughs> Yeah. Jamichael Green was in the game because Doc was desperate, and Doc went small down the stretch. Was there a big zoo in the game? No. Was there a Joakim Noah in the game? No. Was there a Montrez Harrell in the game? No, because he's not even in Orlando. So Doc went small, small, small. Jamichael Green is 6'8", 